Hey, everybody, Ann here, and today I figured I'd poke around in my worm bin to see if I even have any worms still surviving in there. It's been a hot few days, so here, let's take a look. The first thing I need to do is get this thing out of there. It had ice in it originally, and it melted, but the water is still really cool in it. So I'm just going to take that and dump it out and take some of this cardboard topping off and just kind of dig around in there and see if I have any worms left. Oh goodness, I sure hope I do. One thing, oh, yep, there's one. I've noticed that they've eaten most of the, um, you know, lettuce and whatnot that I put down in there. Lettuce and carrots and cabbage, that mix. And oh yeah, I've got plenty of worms still. And they are lively. They're looking, they're looking pretty good. Yeah, a little bit of lettuce left over, that's okay. Um, because the bedding that I bought had nutrient in it, so some kind of dehydrated something or other. Oh, there's a night crawler. Doesn't look very healthy though. I worried about those night crawlers because I figured that they would not be able to survive, you know, because um, they like to burrow deep and they like they don't like to get very hot. The red wigglers that I have, of course, I've already told you are the kind that you can, you don't need to keep them real cool. But I will tell you, keeping that little container with ice in it or just really cold water down in there has been keeping this bedding really cool. It's cool to touch throughout. So I'm just kind of looking for some cocoon action. And it doesn't look like I'm getting any cocoon action. I'm just kind of pulling stuff apart, just seeing what it's like. And um, it's beginning to look more and more like worm castings, which makes me very, very, very happy. But no cocoon action that I can see. Huh. Well, that's okay. Everything still looks... Ooh, look at this one. Oh. Yep. Well, that's a night crawler. It doesn't look like it's moving very much. Oh, in fact, it, it is still moving. Huh, look at that. That little segment's coming off the back of it there. Oh, what, what is this? Is this a cocoon? Is this a night crawler cocoon? Is that how they do their thing? They, they break off at the segments? Oh, that is so weird. I don't know if anybody knows if that's what Nightcrawler Cocoons looks like. Please let me know in the comments below. That is pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find in there. Oh. No cocoons. But I got plenty of good healthy worms. Yeah, I think I started out with 10 or 12 of those night crawlers. And I don't think that there, there's more than maybe a couple left. I think that they died and kind of just maybe absorbed down into there. I don't know. It's going to be hard to tell. But the bedding looks real good. The castings are increasing. It feels pretty cool down in there. So that makes me abundantly happy. I do kind of like to pick things apart when I see big, thick pieces like that. I just kind of pull them apart and spread them out and whatnot, because it's usually the cardboard that's doing that. Oh, there's a night crawler. That's a pretty nice size one. Could be one of the same ones that I saw earlier. Man, it would just blow my mind if I could find one cocoon. Oh, look at this little teeny one. I don't remember any of the red wigglers being that teeny. I wonder if there was a cocoon in there that hatched and I've just had a baby worm growing. I don't know, hard to tell, hard to tell. Oh, look at that big old fat one. 
it's moving around pretty well. Still no cocoons though. Well, but you know what? This is what? A couple weeks old is all? I shouldn't be too upset about it. Everything else looks really good. The worms look happy. They're lively, except for the night crawlers. Ooh, there's another big night crawler. Probably, probably the same too. I've been picking up time after time. <laughs> look at that, that segment. Do they just like break off their segments or something? And is that their cocoons? Huh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know anything about night crawlers at all. But, yeah, it's a nice, big, healthy one. And I had collected some coffee grounds. I let them dry out, and I kept them in this little uh, little white napkin. Now, you can put them in moist, too, but my worm bin has been kind of a little more moist than it needs to be. So I went ahead and dried them out. I'm just going to sprinkle this around. It's good for the worms. They like it. Oh, no, you are not escaping. And then I just kind of toss it around. And also, I'm going to go ahead and tear up this toilet paper roll, put it in there. I'm not even going to dampen it because, like I said, things are a little bit too moist there in the bin. So I'm just going to shred this up, put it in there. There, That's plenty. And I'm just going to mix it in with the rest of the, the worm bedding. Spread it all out, and there we go. Alrighty, let me go ahead and dig a little hole. I've gone ahead and filled up my little container with not ice, just really cold water because the, the bedding is plenty cool and um, it's not going to be that hot today. I'm going to keep this in the shade, so um, I'll check the temperature of the bin, of the bedding, and if it starts uh, heating up, then I'll go ahead and put some ice in. But otherwise, yeah, that's that's been working. And since I'm such a nice worm mommy, I'm going to go ahead and see how they do with these banana peels and I'm gonna go ahead and cover these up hopefully that'll help keep the pets down cover them up a little bit with the bedding yeah here we go and I'll have to you know what I'm gonna bring this indoors because I don't want the bears to get it since that sign said bring your food indoors or uh, keep it in containers or whatever because of the bears yeah so I'll bring it in tonight so the bears won't come eat my my worms <laughs> They might go after the banana peels. I don't think they'd be interested in worms, but yep, I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this back up again. Things are looking good. It smells good. There's no foul odors. So, I don't know, it's going better than I thought it would. There we go. Just kind of brush that off and put the lid back on. And hooray! Thumbs up, man hand. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.